holiday book tube a -thon. It is vloggy days, day, day 29. Hey friends, it's Mara. I am in the middle of making Friday's video for my main channel, Amara in Seattle. Thought I wanted to take a pause a fearless pause, spoilers, it's gonna be in there. To let you guys know that I am actually doing something for these last couple days of December. I just yesterday was watching Christina Horner's video and she was talking about holiday book tubathon and I like reading and I'd really like to end this year with some really positive stuff. So I decided I would go ahead and tackle that. So that's what's happening. The first book I'm tackling for holiday book tubathon is Another Day. I loved Every Day by uh, David Levithan. I loved the first book and I actually bought this one earlier. I bought this book and then I had to go to North Carolina and then uh, I was there so long and I wanted to read something so I actually bought the companion book and ended up reading that one first even though I went and got this one signed and everything. He says to enjoy it from a new point of view and now I am enjoying it from a new point of view so that was good. Man, that was good forward thought, David. The first book, Every Day, is in the perspective of a teenager who basically hops between bodies every day. He doesn't have like a permanent body home, his consciousness moves, and then he meets a girl and they kind of fall for each other and that's what the base concept of this is. The goal for Booktubeathon is pretty much to read a book a day, but based on different prompts. Princess has come to join me. She's an avid believer in books. So the first one was to read a book with your favorite color on it. Now, I haven't really talked about this, but I change my favorite color every year. And this year, I don't know what it's gonna be yet for 2017. Sometimes I even choose something weird, like the color of clouds, like all the colors clouds have been. Hence I chose this one, and I like the colors, the turning of one color into another a lot. An Ombre of Blues, it's also a book that's been sitting on my shelf, so I kind of, in a way, am tackling the thing that Christina Horner was talking about on her video, which is about kind of fessing up to the books that you've held on to for a long time and have not read. This is one of them. There are many, but this is one of them. And for total honesty, I think I was about 17 pages into this. As of this moment, 719. I am 215 pages in. I'm onto chapter 20, so I'm more than halfway through the book, if you guys can see that. Honestly, this will probably be the fastest I've ever read a book that wasn't assigned or something, so this has turned out to be a really good exercise, period. Forgot I read so fast. Come say hi. You're just like kissing my hand. They don't know you're here. They can't see you. You just have to trust me. Oh, I know, bunny. You wanna say hi? Hello, people of the internet. I'm Princess the Cat, and all I want is cuddles right now and to go adventuring in the room I'm not allowed to be in. Hashtag cat problems. Mm. Okay, here you go baby, go back, I'm good. Anyway friends, XOXO, Amara in Seattle, vlogs. <laughs>